Hey everybody, um, Glenn here, uh, getting ready to go out and check some traps, and um, yeah, hopefully we get something, um, just how it goes, when you don't catch nothing, that's trapping, and I only have a couple sets out, so I guess I can't be too particular, I just, uh, I don't know, just kind of gets starts to suck a little bit <laughs> but yeah well um, I have more bobcat sets out now than coyote so you know cats usually come through about every uh, two three weeks something like that they make a big circuit and roam so we'll see I mean not all cats but quite a few of them but well we're gonna pray and we're gonna get on down the line here and uh, Hopefully we get something. I'm going to do something special today too, I think. Um, something I've never done before. So I have to stay tuned for that. So, Dear Lord, thank you for uh, your blessings each and every day for everything you do. We uh, thank you and praise you for it. Just give us all strength and wisdom for our days. Um, just help us and guide us. May we please and honor you. Um, be with everyone out there watching. Give them a good day and just uh, be with their families. Thank you again for loving us and for all you do. And I see things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Down the line we go. All right, everybody. Um, so I told you that... I was probably going to do something special today, and uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to set my very first uh, wolf trap. I've never, never set for wolves before. Um, we got some around here that need to be taken care of. Um, we're getting more and more of them, you can see the game population diving. Um, terribly so I'm gonna I'm gonna set my very first wolf trap I took my wolf trapping course you have to take a course here in Idaho to um, get a license and everything uh, and to trap them so uh, I've taken my course I've had my course for quite a few years and uh, my cousin uh, Jonathan uh, he uh, oh quite a few years ago too bought me uh, and my wife a half dozen uh, MB 750s wolf traps um, oh man for probably four years ago something like that but for uh, Christmas so Jonathan if you're watching this uh, Jonathan K this that is um, <laughs> I have two cousins named Jonathan so, Jonathan K, this is for you. Um, I hope it goes it goes good for me, bud. I uh, hope you're doing good. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna turn this around here. And you can see, okay, here's my, I probably shouldn't be walking all over in the snow. I'm gonna try and blend it back in here. But you can see my footprint, okay? Well, right there, there's a good example, perfect example. Now these are bleached out a little bit from snow melting and stuff, but that is my foot track right there, okay? Right there and right here is a wolf track right next to each other and right next to my heel. That track is as big as my heel. There's my hand. There's the wolf track. My hand from one side to the other um, it's kind of hard to point it out but from left to right there um, is about four and a half inches to five inches across just depends on how I move my thumb that there is just about as wide as my as my uh, hand that's a big dog. <laughs> That's a big dog. So guys, I'm gonna get my set um, made. 
I have all I'm doing. Sorry, all I'm doing is making a yarn post set in here. Um, I'm not putting bait or nothing in here. They hunt down through here. I'm guessing this draw, um, and I'm gonna just put some put a urine post set in right here. And make them think another wolf has come through here and piss him off good. And uh, yeah, because they're really ter they're really territorial. But uh, there's uh, I'll show you here. Right there. I made a drag up, made my own drag, that's three quarter inch rebar, and that's the trap in there. I'm going to get it dug in and get everything in place, and before I cover it up, um, I'll, uh, I'll show you the trap and how I have it set up and stuff. So, that he shouldn't go nowhere in here, um, there's a bunch of blow down, and uh, there's also, uh, that drag's pretty heavy. I haven't weighed it, I should weigh them. I made a bunch of them, but uh, should weigh them. But anyways, I'm gonna get this done so I can get out of here. I have one more trap to check today and uh, nothing, but uh, I have one more trap to check and we're gonna be on our way. So, all right, I'll show you this as I go. Right, later. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I told you I'd show you the me putting a set in and the set and stuff and I forgot and started putting the dirt in and stuff but this is going to be my yarn post and this is going to be um, where the trap is and obviously I'm going to blend it all in real nice I'll hide hide my chain that goes down in through there um, as you can see right there's one track and the next track was right where my pan is um, so hopefully yeah he'll come right there and step right there but so i'm going to get this bedded in and closed over and then i'll show you uh the finished product so i don't know praying lord willing we'll have a wolf here so all right that would be awesome <laughs> all right later okay guys so as you can see, I tore this up a little bit. Um, I wasn't real happy with how that was blending in. Uh, my trap is right there. Um, and that is my urine post right there. Now, you can see there's these holes several places all through, all through here. Um, what I did is I just pulled a bunch of that dirt and stuff out of that hole and threw it over here in the snow and around here um, just to make it look like something dug like maybe <laughs> my idea is um, my thinking behind this is like the, I marked this post with urine timber wolf urine um, and I'm, I, was, I was just thinking that you know maybe if they come back through here they'll think that another wolf come through found something dug it out got it and pissed on this post to mark his spot i did not put any bait or lure nothing down that hole that's strictly eye appeal so and then over here i i don't know if you can see but i scratched a little bit to make it look like a coyote or a wolf I'm so used to trapping coyotes. A wolf dug it up. Well, my battery light's flashing, guys. Um, so, my first wolf trap ever. Lord, please bless this trap. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go check uh, my last set. If I don't catch anything, I won't see you again. So, if I don't, take care. God bless. And, uh, Lord willing, sometime here we'll have a, a wolf here. So... Take care. God bless, guys.